Hi, this is Danielle, the Domestic Scientist. I'm super excited to be participating in the six week one room challenge. So I am going to, over the next six weeks, do a $300 makeover in my powder room. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, here it is my powder room so this is the room i'm going to be working to kind of upgrade and give it a little bit of a facelift over the next six weeks and i'm going to do it on a really tight budget so a little bit about my house it was built in the early 90s i have a four bedroom three bathroom home my master bathroom suite is downstairs and all of my guest bedrooms are upstairs so my powder room is located right off the main living area and it has two pieces, just a sink and toilet. But in the back corner of the powder room, I do have a linen closet. And this linen closet serves for myself and my husband because we don't have a linen closet in our master bathroom. So I definitely need to put in a little bit of work to refresh this area as well. So I'm going to do several small projects that I think are really going to transform the space and one of the most important ones is paint. As you can see the paint color I have here is one of those colors that was really popular in the 90s. It's that tan color but it's got some like yellowish type of undertones. When I use um, the incandescent lighting in this room it just has a peach effect to it and there are times when um, if there's really bright light in the daytime sometimes it can look slightly yellow so this room for sure needs a fresh coat of paint in a more modern color and something that's I think a little bit more neutral than what I have going on here so my goals for paint color is to continue in a more neutral pattern so if you have any recommendations of what color you think I should paint the walls be sure to leave a comment in the description box below I'm thinking something that will complement the granite would be a smart choice so generally speaking, powder rooms are areas where people really can go crazy expressing themselves without spending too much because it is such a small space. However, in my case, I'm really wanting to keep it more neutral. Now for me, I'm not quite sure this is gonna be my forever home. So I'm not really interested in going too over the top and stylish because I'm keeping resale value on the forefront of my mind when it comes to paint color selection. And the other thing that I'm taking into account is just how much white there is in my powder room so the toilet's white the sink's white the vanity is white and the tile is white on the floor and so I'm wanting to make sure that I pick a color that's not going to be too bright to make the bathroom look sterile but that's not going to be too dark because I don't want to shrink the space either so I'm looking for something kind of in the middle that's a little bit warm but it's going to look really good in all types of lighting and that's not going to conflict with my very busy granite that I'm I'm about to talk about in just a moment. So the granite. The granite is very light granite but it has a lot of little dark speckles. This granite to me it kind of has that salt and pepper type vibe to it. So that being the case I just want to make sure that whatever I choose to put in here really complements and does not work against what's already there. So things that I want to change. Definitely the faucet. I am not a fan of the chrome and white faucets that are here. I think that they date the home. But the towel rack and the um, toilet paper holder um, rack are also matches to the faucet so if I change out the faucet I really need to do something about those other racks because they all came as a set now speaking of hardware I also have this yellow gold hardware on the doorknobs and so I think if I changed all of that out to something that's a little bit more neutral that kind of works with the granite that I have and the new paint color that I'm going to select I think it would create a more transitional style look in this restroom. I don't think I can achieve a totally modern look if I wasn't willing to change the granite or even the tile, but we'll see. 
So when it comes to the hardware and the faucet in the restroom, I'm thinking that I can do a mix of different materials. I like a brushed nickel or just a plain stainless steel because it's timeless, it's classic, you really can't go wrong. And also I'm into some of the matte blacks and the oil rub bronze. I'm thinking if I'm able to put some silver elements, either a brushed nickel or stainless steel, and pair it with a darker element, especially with the powder coat finish, I'm thinking I can pair a matte black or an oil rub bronze, and I'll be able to mix some of those things that are really trendy right now with some things that are a little bit more transitional, and I'll get the best of both worlds. So the other thing I really think I should address in this powder room is the mirror. It is way too large for the space. I don't care for mirrors that extend past the vanity and then over the toilet. I don't think it's necessary to have a mirror behind your toilet. And so I'm thinking that that's a really great opportunity to increase my wall space and then maybe come through and add some nice art to complement the colors. So ultimately, I'm looking for a really nice decoratively framed mirror. I'm not quite sure what finish I'm going to go with as of yet, but I do think a nice framed mirror would add a beautiful focal point to the powder room. So I definitely want to change the light fixture in this powder room. I think changing the light fixture could really shave some of the years off of this house. I think going for a more modern finish and also a more modern silhouette would definitely add a great improvement to this room. So the last area that I want to tackle for my powder room makeover is the linen closet. Now I just need to give this a little bit of a refresh. This area needs to be very practical, very easy to use, but I do want it to look good. So I'm thinking some sort of storage solution would be a good fit for this space. Maybe some storage bins to allow me to keep all of my linens, but to make sure that the appearance is neat and tidy. So to recap. For my powder room six week makeover challenge, I need to paint, change my faucets, hardware, change the mirror in my bathroom, get a new light fixture, add some storage bins to my linen closet, and maybe jazz it up with a piece of art here and there. And I need to accomplish all this work in six weeks for only $300. So every week I will be uploading a progress video on Fridays just so you guys can see how it's coming along. So today's video is a part of a YouTube collaboration entitled Six Week One Room Challenge. The host for this collaboration is Wani's House. I'll have a link to the host channels as well as a link to the collaboration playlist in my description box. Be sure to check out the other YouTube makeovers. So I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist, and I have a lifestyle channel here on YouTube. I have several home decor videos posted and so much more to come. And I'd love it if you join me along my journey. So if you like today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.